What up, what up, what up? What's going on, guys? Your boy Jess. Welcome back for another NBA 2K14 Blacktop gameplay. Well, actually, I shouldn't say another because it's technically my first, my first ever uh, Blacktop gameplay. And I was watching uh, Adam's live stream, you know, Try Hard Gamer X, and he's like, "Yo, Jess, I know you got uh, PS3 2K. Let's get on Blacktop." And I'm like, "I got you, but my player is ass." And he's like, "Well, so is mine." So. He has like a 64 overall player. I got like a 65. As you see, we're both rocking the UPS Doodle Brown jumpsuits. We're, we're, we're looking like noobs because we are. We don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, this is my first time ever playing. I think this is Adam's like third game um, playing Blacktop. They were all on that live stream. So uh, we picked up somebody else on the live stream who happened to be good. You know, he's, oh, look at me with the strip though. And look at me facilitating. That's what I do, people. I facilitate. I drive and I dish. I dish and I drive. That's what I do, people. So um, the guy we picked up from the live stream who was watching was a center, a 7-2 center. Now, one thing I noticed about the guys you're going against, they're really good. Like we're going up against two stars. You know, they got the little star symbol. Like, and they're, they're nasty. I don't know what their overall is. I don't know what their attributes are, but I know it's hard for me to do anything. Like, their strip has to be like 98, and my handling is like a 60. So I can't move the ball on them too much. They steal the ball from me at will with no issues whatsoever. They just steal, and every, it's like they're batting a 1,000 on me. They hit the X button or square once, just one time. They don't have to spam it. They just tap it once, and I get the ball taken from me. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Me being a dummy, I went ahead... And before I join the game, I'm like, you know what? Let me go on ahead and spend all the VC that I got stacked up from playing, you know, my ranked matches. So I was like, okay, I got 3,000 VC, you know, like 3,400, whatever. Let me be a dummy and spend it all on dunking. So I went ahead, put everything on dunking, right? You know, I'm a yam on these folks. I'm going to hit them with the yams. You know what I mean? I'm going to treat it like it's Thanksgiving Day. And I'm going to just put yams all in their face. I'm going to be jam, jamming on people. My dunk is like... What was it? Like a 88 out of 92? It's like almost max. I was like, oh, I'm going to be dunking over everybody. And then I play everybody's huge. I'm literally the smallest guy in the court at 6'3". And I can't handle the stripping me. I can't shoot. My mid-range and my jump shots are all like 40s. So I can't shoot. Literally, my only good scoring ability is being able to drive and dunk. But that's tough to do because everybody's tall and everybody steals so easily. So... I made that mistake. I should have put it on ball handling and uh, maybe like mid-range shot. But nonetheless, man, we worked around. Adam is a very unselfish player, and so am I. So, you know, we like to pass the ball, and it just so happened that we had a big man on the team that liked to shoot a lot. So uh, we definitely ran the game plan through him. You know, as you see, I'm double teamed right here. Give it to Adam, and he passes it to the inside. And that's what we were doing a lot. You know, a lot of ball movement, working our way to the inside. Because none of us can shoot. <laughs> none of us can shoot. We don't have the, the skills to do it. Uh, Adam or I, our threes are, I think, stuck at default. So, you know, we're just unable to really shoot. But look, we're, we're passing the ball inside. They really having a tough time of defending our big man. So, uh, right now, we want to be able to um, continue to do that. You know, and like I said, man, the guy I'm guarding, he's got the dude the brown jumpsuit as well. So, I don't know how good he is. But the other two guys, I believe, were stars. So, tough team. You know, and two rookies at it, me and Adam. I mean, I don't even think I've attempted a shot yet. I don't even... Adam has shot a couple times. But I think at the end of the game, me and Adam took eight shots combined while the big man took, like, 20. So, it was very easy to see what our game plan is. Now, I mean, I enjoy this, but I need to get more VC up. I need to get my player better. You see, I'm trying to drive, dish. If Adam had somewhat of a shot... Look at that ball movement. If Adam had somewhat of a shot, that would have been an easy bucket for him. But like I said, we suck. So we don't have anything. And, you know, trying to work on that. So, you know, any any skills that I get from my VC, I'm going to try and work on my, my player. Hopefully get better. I remember I was looking at the comment section of the stream. And somebody was like, yo, these players, most of them buy their VC. He's like, um, the game came out at midnight. He said he came home by 1 a.m., there were 99 overalls in blacktop. Like, 99 overalls within an hour. Like, damn, that's crazy. That just means that um, they're just, you know, buying VC, ranking their guy up. I, I mean, I'm, who am I to judge? This game, since, like I said, this is my first time playing, and this was like a couple days ago. So, this is a month, almost a month of the game being out already. So, 
they probably worked their way up. But nonetheless, you know, I definitely need to get my skills better. And, and so does Adam. You know, there's only so much we can do together. You know, all you got to do is play good defense. We can't shoot. You know, so uh, that right there is definitely a handicap knowing that we're unable to shoot the basketball. No matter how wide open we are, we're not shooting because we're probably not going to make it. L look at the defense. I can't dribble by anybody. So what I'm thinking, what do you guys think is the best attributes to go on ahead and upgrade my guy with? First thing, I'm thinking, what was more important? Should I work on ball handling, shooting, speed, you know, defense? Let me know. I would love to know you guys' opinion on what it is I should work on first. As you see, right now we're down. We're down 15 to 13. Damn drive. Oh, we get the yam. We get the dunk right in people's faces, though. We turning into Thanksgiving right now. We yamming our folks. Oh, another. Oh, man. Look at that. me being unselfish. I should have dunked it right there. I should have dunked it. All that VC I spent on dunking points, and I didn't even use it correctly. Should have dunked it. But me being unselfish player that I am, I seen him open. I passed him. Knowing he sucks just as much as I do. Knowing our player is ass. So, um, oh, man. So, obviously, I wish I could buy height, but I can't. But, you know, what, what is the best things to work on? I really don't know what to expect, what type of players. I know one team, we went up against three small forwards. Three small forwards. And that game, we got blown out. I think, because um, small forwards, that's, a, you know, the mixture of a shooting guard with a power forward. So, they're shooting threes. They're all tall as hell. They all have the ability to play very good defense. They're all lengthy. Like, we couldn't stop them. So, I know I, I need to get my player better as well as, uh, you know, making sure I work on the correct things. Putting dunking, spending 3,400 VC points on dunking was not the smart thing to do. It, it just wasn't. So, I would love to know your guys' opinion on what it is I should work on first. Me, I'm thinking I should work on um, ball handling because they were able to strip the ball with zero issues whatsoever like no matter what happened like if i didn't get rid of the ball quickly they were stripping look at me spamming the strip button i can't even get anything i would i would um get the ball taken from me in an instant so you know we're down 18 16 you know i'm even surprised we're even in this game uh, right here nice drive nice dish because that's what i do that's what i do i drive in that dish if you're my team you don't need to worry about you know not getting the ball i'm gonna find you I'm going to find you and I'm going to get you the ball. Because that's what I do. I facilitate. I facilitate. <laughs> so, um, like I said, I'm even surprised we're even in this game. Considering the lack of skill that me and uh, Tryhard have. Both playing the game and also our players. Right there, we get a steal. Pass it. Pass it back to me. I'm trying to, you see, I try to go for the shot, but they just slapped it right off of the back of my neck. Can't even do anything about it. But we do have the ball with the opportunity to tie the game right here. Give it to the big man. Give it to the guy who was on fire. He's clearly a force to be reckoned with inside the paint. Right here, you see they, they double team me a lot. Why? Because it was so easy to strip the ball away from me. So they would double team me. They would spam the strip button. Next thing you know, turnover. Right there, we get another yam. Hit him with the yams, though. Served hot and spicy. Hit him with the hot and spicy yam, though. So right now, we have a tie game. And uh, we can't communicate with each other because I don't even have a mic. But, you know, I hear try hard through the, um, through the live stream. But the live stream got a little delay. It's like five, you know, six, seven seconds behind. So I can't really, you know, understand what he's saying because, you know, whatever he says I'm listening to happened like two plays ago. But, you know, I feel like we did pre we're doing pretty good for a team that can't really communicate. We're just on the court basically playing solo, you know, trying to, you know, do what it is that we can do. So right there, tie ball game, 19-19. I'm driving, and another yam! Who would have thunk GS with the three yams, though? Served high and spicy. I left them wide open for the two. My bad right there, 21-20. And the ball gets stripped from me. That happens way too much. And they get the ball. Right here, he drives. And I believe you need to win by two in order to win. So that right there was a big stop. I get the ball, pass it to the big man. He dunks it. Tie ball game. Right here. My fault. I sagged off of him. Wet. And we lose the game. <sighs> my fault. My fault. I sagged off of him. He, the, the, my opponent really hasn't been shooting all game. So I made a mistake. I sagged off and it cost us the game. And we lost our first game. We have yet to win a black top game. And. Ah. 
But I would like to know, do you guys enjoy watching this? Because I enjoy playing it. And uh, what can I do to get my player better? You know, here's here's the statistics. You see I'm 3 for 4, 7 assists. Uh, we all had a bunch of turnovers, me and Adam, because it's so easy to strip from us. You know, they did that with no problems. But, again, I would love to know your opinions on whenever I do accumulate my VC. Where should I put it? What's going to matter the most? You know, uh, to me, personally, like I said, I'm thinking maybe ball hindering so they don't strip it from me too easy. But maybe you guys are like, don't worry about that. You only had a couple turnovers anyways. Work on your jump shot. You know, let me know. That's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's your boy, GS, and I'm out. Peace. Give it to me.